What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Total 2 today. Actually, we're talking about like altcoins in general, but Total 2 is a good way to kind of reflect that. For those of you that don't know, um, Total 2, you type it in on TradingView, it's the total crypto market cap excluding Bitcoin. So it's it's right. The total market cap is 575 billion, excluding Bitcoin. Obviously, with Bitcoin, it'd be like a lot more. It'd be like over over a trillion. Um, but anyways, I've got you can see here. I've got all these measurements already laid out. Um, and what I've done is essentially the same thing I did yesterday in in my November analysis for Bitcoin. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I recommend watching it. This is more or less the same thing, but with more of a pertaining aspect to altcoins. So. Looking at this, the first November out of the historical data that we have referenceable here, um, November in 2014, we dropped 40.95 percent. Okay, in November, and this this isn't from the the uh, absolute top to the absolute low of November. It's from the highest point to the lowest point after. So it could have been lower beforehand. I don't know if that makes sense, but like there's a reason I'm doing it on the weekly and not on the monthly. I took the highest point to the lowest point after. This actually went a little bit higher, but it was December that it went lower, so I'm not measuring it. Basically, I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is it's the biggest drop in November that I'm measuring for each November throughout all of cryptocurrency's history that we have available to us as far as data goes. So looking at this, 41%, 42%, 23%, 37.5%, 38.5%, 39.5%, 40.5%, 41.5%, 43.5%, 42.5%. Fifteen point six, the smallest one, and thirty four point one seven here. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and then we've got November twenty twenty two as well. Let's see. Um, yeah, thirty point four percent, and this one actually should be like yellow. Yeah. So the reason why there's yellow ones and red ones now is because the red ones, these two red ones are the Novembers before the halving, the November right before the halving. All the other Novembers are, are just Novembers after the halvings or not the year before the halving, you know, at different points in time. So I think these are important to take into consideration. The, you know, the most recent one we dropped 31.5%, the one before that was 42.4%. Yes, we've had another halving before this even, but we just don't have it on the historical data chart. So I think those ones are important to take into consideration, right? Um, this one here, was 15.6%. It was the smallest drop we've seen from a high to a to a drop, the furthest away from that high within November. Um, but it also happened after the halving, in the midst of the bull market. If you look at the weekly RSI, totally different readings than what we're experiencing now, right? Different circumstances. So, so I'm not throwing it out the window, but I just want to point that out that why it might be different is because different circumstances, completely different circumstances than what we're in now. If you look at the price for what it is, right? as far or not price but the value of the total two we're in this like accumulation phase okay here in 2020 we were expanding right where the november before 2020 before the last having was in this accumulation phase right um accumulation phase here if we, if we put these back on actually you can see accumulation phase right before the having accumulation phase right this was the year before or the november before the having um different results, different kind of things, right? Besides that 15%, the smallest one we've seen was a 23%, right? We've seen one that was less than a 20% drop and the only one like that was the smallest after a 20% drop is this 23% drop. I took the liberty of doing the math on these and I got a 34.283% average. That's the average drop if, you, if we included all of them, even the outliers included all of them and averaged it by nine because I believe that's what we have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine iterations, the average would be 34.3% essentially um, of a drop. Now that would mean that crypto altcoins specifically on average are going to drop 34.3% maybe from the current price maybe from you know maybe in the next week or two things move up more and then it's from that top it's not it's not necessarily from the current price more so it's from whenever the top of the, maybe not the top of this month but before we have that separation of the dump like wherever the highest point before the low point comes in 
it's going to be that. So, so don't think of it as a 34.3% drop from the current prices, though that could be the case. Um, think of it more as whenever we have our top, which maybe we do, maybe we don't, um, or at least a relative high, whatever, for this month, we're going to see a 34 percent drop overall okay again not from here but but if it happened from here that that could be expected to um, if we look at this thing I'm gonna delete uh, I don't want to delete all of them so I'm just gonna delete this one um, if you look at this thing from a low point to a high point I hope I'm not being too confusing guys but from a low point to a high point here you can see that if we were to drop 34 percent from the current price um, that would actually take us right down about 34.3 percent would actually take us right down to the 1272 so that isn't too crazy at all i really think we could see a 1272 extension we still are in this accumulation phase as far as the uh, crypto total two goes bitcoin has like ended its bear market i think you know it's, it looks totally different than this but this definitely has the potential to go down more volume is not coming in it's really low you know i think i think that all the circumstances are there for us to go lower. If we look at the weekly RSI, we are a little bit stronger. This is something I was looking at that I actually gives me a little bit of faith that we might have a different result this time, but I'm not, I'm not holding my breath. Um, here, the RSI was below the 50, right? The red one before the halving. This red one here before the halving, the RSI rejected the 50, but it was below the 50. Here right now, we are actually above the 50. Um, we're pretty near the bullish. Are we in the bullish area of control? No, we're, we're very near it though. Um, rejecting this area wouldn't be good necessarily, but it's better than rejecting the 50 at least. So um, different circumstances as far as the readings go. Uh, you could argue that it's different world circumstances too, though I don't think that that's a good argument because things might be a little bit worse off than they have been, you know, in previous uh, cycles. Anyways, that's the one thing. The RSI reading is the one thing that gives me a little bit of hope that we might not go that low. But I still would expect something greater than a 15% drop, probably likely even greater than a 23% drop, right? Something like that. And a 23% drop, let's just say, um, we'll take it from that top, sure. A 23% drop would take us back down to the low points of uh, of this thing. So again, not every altcoin is going to drop. If it was to drop 23%, if the total two is to drop 23%, not every altcoin is going to drop 23%. Some are going to drop less. Some are going to drop more. This is just the average. So um, be prepared. That's all I want to say in this video, man. Is just be prepared. If you're feeling like FOMOing right now, patience, man. Patience. We are at a Go through, go through and measure it yourself. You know, if you want to look at it on Bitcoin or on any altcoin that you've got that goes back however many Novembers, it's very, very common to see significant retracements in November. It's the month for that. And sometimes November's even close green and they still have these retracements, which means like they're just very volatile months, right? It's right before the end of the year, right before things really get going. And something, a little bit of hope that I do want to add on is that any time that we see these like dramatic drops in November, we get a very quick recovery, right? We get a very quick, like amazing recovery. We're not crawling up. It's not, it's not like this and then we move down, right? We don't get a November like here and then just move lower afterwards. No, we get a pretty quick recovery rather immediately afterwards. Um, you know, here, boom, all the way up, boom, literally like at the bottom, all the way up. Uh, here, okay, I guess this was the one-off. This was your one-off right here. But this is also like in the very beginning, like who knows, that's different circumstances also. But uh, um, it can happen. Not everything I'm saying has to happen to a T. It doesn't have to be completely different, but you know, who knows, it might look exactly like what I'm talking about, it might not. But what I'm trying to say is for the data that we have, I'm expecting a pretty sizable drop to come in. So before I just keep babbling and rambling on, that's all I got for you guys. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Um, and I really recommend watching that Bitcoin uh, video. It's basically the same thing, but just with more pertaining to Bitcoin. Um, and yeah, take care, everybody. Have a good night. Good day. Whatever. Bye-bye.